Hi guys, so welcome to Granada in Nicaragua. Got a busy day today. We're on a walking tour at the moment of the city. Uh, our new friend Jose is showing us around and showing us the different cathedrals and things like that. Then this afternoon I need to get a haircut. Then Jackie and I are going to go to a jungle rave this evening at the Treehouse Hostel, which we're quite excited about. So let's see what's happening on this walking tour. attempted and then I forgot about the volcano <laughs> so we're having a free walking tour right now then we have lunch then we have a volcano tour then we have dinner and then we have a sea house party full day yeah. really full day exciting though yeah an hour into the walking tour and I feel like I know more about Granada than I do about my own hometown. It's very detailed. So if you've got any questions about Granada, ask us because we probably know now. I don't know how best to explain this so I'm just going to do it quick. There is the park for the indigenous Indian community which hasn't got anything. And then here is the park for the Spanish. Very pretty, the lucky Spanish. Hola. So, we are at the Tawa La Merced Church, I guess that's how you call it. And it has the best view of Granada, he said. So we're gonna check it out.
build upon this uh, sort of social club designed for people with disabilities to give them work and also chances to socialise in the community and things and it's incredible. They've got hammock making, they, they teach Piggyback. sign language and here we've got all of the homemade piggy banks and things. And they made a hammock for 37 people to sit on and there's a picture of it. Five, five years ago they made for the Pope yeah. uh, a hammock. Yeah. Elaborada, yes. yes. Elaborada oh. por una persona no vidente, una persona ciega. Made for my impression that. Here for Jimmy, the 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 person is blind. Blind. Yes. The making hammer for the color for the Pope Francis. Oh wow. <laughs> So this is Cafe de las Bonitas, guys. If you are in Granada, you have got to go to that place. I'm not sure how well I explained it inside, but basically it's a center that's been set up for people with all different types of disabilities, where they can go socialize, learn some skills. There's hammock making, they're making different sort of pottery things. And also they've got these crazy cool tables that mean that you can, communicate with somebody that's perhaps hard of hearing or deaf uh, just by pointing to different signs and things on the table. Amazing little place, they've got menus that help you explain exactly what it is you need and can't have inside them. If you're in Granada, go to Cafe de, de, las, uh, de las Bonitas, it's super cool. <laughs> So this walking tour was supposed to take about an hour and a half and poor Jose is still going strong after two hours because we keep making detours for ice creams and into random buildings that we think are interesting and every time we see somewhere he just goes okay let's go in. If you want Jose's contact details to go on your own tour it's in the comments below. But we also kind of set up his YouTube channel now so I I mean, he's also setting up a YouTube channel, so you'll be able to find him there soon. So that was the free walking tour with Abdullah Tours, hosted by our new friend Jose. What was your favourite part? Oh, the hammock part, part place part. <laughs> the hammock place. The hammock place part, place part, place. <laughs> Exactly that one. I think that was also my favourite part place, part, part place. That was so cool. Like, I never considered what you do to do a hammock and it's not that bad. So maybe we should do our own hammock now. How about that? How about that? Now we're on our way to get a haircut. You, not me. Now I'm on my way to get a haircut somewhere where Jose suggested the oldest barbers in Granada. I might have just made that up. Did I just make that up? Oh, no, no, no. If he said that. I think he said that. <laughs> or the, just he's been going there for a long time. I can't remember. But we're going to go find that. So that's my fresh cut sorted. Um, lost about 10 pounds. Lost about 10 pounds in weight and money. Um, and then right at the end, she just stuck her hand into this like bucket of hair gel oh, no, she didn't. and just pasted it on my head <laughs> and it just made like the sloppiest sound so I think it's for that like eternal wet look um, <laughs> so I need to get back to the hotel and wash it out because <laughs> it feels super heavy on my head but there you go 
That's my Nicaraguan haircut. There you go. She was she was very nice. She did a good job as well. She was yeah. super quick. Super quick. I think it's because she just wanted me out. But there you go. Haircut done. Now tickets for tonight's party. Maybe try and find some costumes. And then back for a shower, go to the volcano. We're busy today. Eat at some point. I don't know, it's all going on.